Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Exploring Middle Earth. Now for today's episode, I'll be talking about the Barrow Downs and Barrow Whites. Now in the Lord of the Rings, you're going to have a lot of overlapping background information and such. And for this video, I have made a video previously called The History of Arnor, which can give you some background information if you're interested. It would make it maybe easier to understand, but it's up to you. I'll link it here just in case. So first I'm going to give a brief history of the Barrow Downs. Now when the Numenorians first arrived in Middle Earth, they formed various settlements and their most prominent northern settlement was located around the Barrow Downs. Now the Barrow Downs were already an important place for the Numenorians, as over there they had the Great Barrow which was a place where they buried their dead and it was thus considered a sacred area. Now when Elendil returned to Middle-earth, he formed the kingdom of Arnor and of Gondor. Now Arnor was the northern kingdom and the Barrow Downs were located in this kingdom. Unfortunately, the kingdom of Arnor didn't last long, as there was quite a lot of infighting and eventually it was broken up into three regions, that of Cardolan, that of Artadain and that of Rudar. Now, the Barrow Downs were located in Cardolan, and they were actually the capital of Cardolan. This breakup of the kingdom came at a bad time, because an evil was brewing in the north, which was the Witch King, and he was making a fort in Angmar. And from this region, he'd soon unleash an army onto the three kingdoms. The kingdom of Rudar was the first to fall, and then the Witch King went for Cardolan, and he managed to beat them and they had to retreat to their capital, the Barrow Downs, but eventually even that fell, and the Kingdom of Cardolan was no more. Now the Witch King wanted to make sure that the Barrow Downs would never be reoccupied, and thus he sent evil spirits to enter the dead bodies that were located in the Barrow Downs, and these possessed the bones and reanimated them. These became known as the Barrow Whites. These Barrow Whites were said to be very pale, cold creatures, you know, they are bone after all. And they could actually talk, and had a very cold, deep and hollow voice. They would also often be carrying a lot of jewellery on them, you know, the rings and braces, necklaces, because they would, after all, be the reanimated corpses of the buried dead, who would have been buried with their riches. The Witch King of Angmar was eventually defeated, and his fort in Angmar destroyed, and he had to retreat all the way to Mordor and form one part of the Nazgul again. However, this wouldn't be his last interaction with the Barrow Downs. Almost a thousand years later, once Sauron had regained his strength, the One Ring was discovered, and Sauron learned that it was in the Shire in the hands of a hobbit, and thus he sent out his Nazgul, including the Witch King, to find it. These Nazgul passed through the Shire, and on the way, the Witch King stopped in the Barrow Downs again. And here it's believed that he spent a few days there to reawaken the Barrow Whites and rouse them from their sleep. A few days later, Frodo and the other hobbits were journeying into the old forest, and there was a very, very deep fog. And the hobbits got lost, and they ended up in the Barrow Downs. Now here, a Barrow White approached them, spoke to them and grabbed them. And it's believed that their voice was hypnotic and thus it put them under a spell and left the hobbits with no will of their own. The Barrow White would then draw them into his tomb, wrap them in gold, um, fine silk and other jewelry and leave a sacrificial sword next to them to kill them with. At this point, all four of the hobbits were paralyzed but Frodo somehow managed to fight back and free himself and he tried to strike at the white and he called for Tom Bombadil who was a man they had met earlier on in the forest. Now Tom Bombadil is a very mystical figure in the Lord of the Rings that no one really knows where he came from or what he is but he has tremendous power. Tom Bombadil then heard Frodo's call and he broke open the barrow from the top and this allowed sun sunlight to enter the barrow, which caused the white to evaporate into a mist, 
because they could only be destroyed by light. This is the only encounter that we read about in The Lord of the Rings, and thus there isn't much more to say about them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're enjoying the series, I'd recommend you subscribe not to miss out on any other videos. Um, if you think I missed out on anything, disagree, or would like to have some input, please leave a comment below and I'll read it for sure. I enjoy it. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.